us from TV as we bring you the highlights of the game between the EPL Cup finalists, the Basingstoke Bison and the Slough Jets. This was the league encounter between the sides. The Jets stole third place off the Bison in midweek, but the home side were looking to come away with a victory and regain that position. In the commentary box for this game are Daniel Murphy and Graham Merry. That was a fortunate little pass from what I don't think he intended that to go to Thompson. He just took a funny bounce off the ball and it's back down with two Kiras who plays it around two. Hell ground, and that's now picked up by Dan Davies. And Cox fired in there, and a trip going in there, no call. So Ben Davies is the most player, of course. And we come now, it's Calder. Calder's got Greener in the middle, but he's lost control to Kurt Reynolds. The scheme's just going to Harry Greener for a bit, and it's back now with Calder. Calder to Shepard. Great part, little. Oh, Skins was. Didn't see that one coming then. Green had a. He got that on target and a shot there and a goal for Shepard. Good, well worked goal for the Scarlet Jets there. So Green had the chance first time round, but uh, he just kept running away and Shepard found himself open. He fired that one into the Bison goal. And the familiar scene here at the arena now because the Bison find themselves behind to a Doug Shepard goal. And here come the Bison again. It's Red. Oh, that puck just fell off Redmond State. He's calling for best to get the puck. Best gets it, gets a nice little hit whack from Thompson as he played the pop back to Redman. A nice little spin move. They're just trying to set things up and look for a, a play developer. Wiggins is what Wiggins might look at the puck now, and that's well intercepted there. The cross ice pass certainly seemed bound for Wiggins, but uh, Thompson just dived in there and intercepted the puck. And Redman's knocked it to Callum Best now. Best has got Wiggins' support, opts to play it to Redman. Here's Redmond just going around the net. Tries to fire it in and a good chance there. Callum Best just couldn't saw his stick out there. I think it was on the backhand. Didn't really see it till the last minute. And here's a chance out for the Jets and it's fired wide. It's good to go. It's got it. A shot that came off the boards and it's just fired in. Back and Ginter's goal. It's creep under his body. And we reach the halfway point in this first period. The Slough Jets have doubled their lead here. And it's 2 0. And Reynolds gets a shot there, and it's a chance down in front, and it's uh, through traffic there, a backhanded effort from Tony Redmond. Could have gone anywhere, really. You can see to hit a body in front, and it could have been destined for the top shelf, but it wasn't to be. And Connolly there, John Connolly just loses control of the puck, and Rotman has to go and help him out as Connolly plays it to Jan Krychek, the big man. He's going to be a bit of a threat from the, the point on, certainly on power plays. Seven goals in the season, 22 assists. Uh, Kiris plays to Graham. Graham played to Kubenko. Kubenko made a nice little move. Kubenko with a shot. Goal! Oh, a nice shot. Victor Kubenko. A great little move around this man. Just round. And with a great shot pass. Just Greg Rockman. Uh, block aside. And the eight minutes of the league remaining. Here's the pair of the Bison. And half the lead. It's the Snowden 2. Amazing show by someone. Bowman now for the Jets. Thompson. He's also got the second goal for the Jets, and it's back down to Bowman. But he got shoved off the puck by Kiras. And it's out to John Connolly. Connolly to Bowman now. Bowman, they might play a dump and uh, go to the bench, but it's just to uh, Harrow. be a little shallow to Kiras there. Uh, as the puck finds uh, Wiggins, and a nice little move there, and that's a trip there. The fans uh, really want a penalty there, and Wiggins looks to the ref thing. Watch around, it's a chance for Mariana. Where with the move? Oh, it's got him! There's a chance for Kieras. That's a goal for the Bison. And straight off the mark, just 30 seconds into the period. A great little cut back pass from Givenko. Kieras skating in on the touch. Fired that one pass, great Rockman. And come back really. He's won a truly over because the Bison have come from two goals down. And they now lead three goals to Dubrow. And the door opens and Chris Wiggins has unleashed the back into the 
guys. So there comes uh, Sean Thompson. Sean Thompson now has got some space. Joe's backhand up to upstairs and Skins I think might have helped it out a little bit. I don't know if that's going to be on target or not, but the Scouts just, sorry, has got it for the Slough Jets and a great little move there. And a great shot from the Scouts. Skins has gone down on the short mail kick. kick. They're taking a whack off the bar. But a great little play from Pleskowski there, just danced around his man and let the shot go. But now Lauko's got it back, off on the boards, but then Kulikov again picks it up. And off they come again now this way, but Pleskowski's having a chance to skate down the, the right wing, cuts inside, shoe shot, again fires over the bar. And the Bison able to create a good little shot there, just a high wide handsome over there. The goal a shot from Lauko through traffic and the Bison are back in front. You see the goal out nowhere, really. The Bison has come up the other end up the chance for Slough. Andre Lauko is riding through. The big problem must have been squeezed on the way there. But just enough of it. Shot got target. And that's squeezed under his pad. And the Bison are back in front. About 12 seconds on Kyrus's penalty. Shot fired into the body. We're into the final minute of the second period. And here comes Joe Greener for the Slough Jets. Greener drops off to Calder as Rotman bashes his stick to see the end of the shot down the old slip. Once again, Dan Krejcik on point. One time slap shot. I think it went five holes through Dean Skins' goal. Uh, pad, sorry. Uh, with 47 seconds remaining in the second period, we're all square once again. And here comes the Jets now. It's Jan Krejcik. There's the long pass. That's a sloppy pass, almost got picked off, but here comes Joe Greener. Joe Greener, got Shepard behind him. Shepard gets the shot! Ah, it's a goal for the Slough Jets! A great little wrist shot from Doug Shepard, where the high skins can do anything about this. You go over Dean Skins, and we're 13, 35 remaining in the third period. Slough Jets now take their turn to go in front, and a good little goal for the Port of Bison now. Here along is going to be the extra man out there by looks of things. This is like starting to add a more defensive role, really. It didn't matter to defensive chance. Just a bit of depth. Just a Bison really going for that tying goal. But here come the Jets now. They've got an empty net shot. Goal for Joe Greener. Centerized. And that's to be game over for the Bison. They've got four hard come from behind. The Jets got their nose in front. Tough result there for the boys and the Jets coming away with a victory in that one, but hopefully it will be a lot different when it comes to the EPL Cup. Remember, fans, the first leg is on Wednesday, the 9th of March. It's a 7.30 face-off, and tickets available from the arena box office on 01256 355 266. Try and make yourself heard here. Of course, you can buy them via the Basingstoke Bison website at www.bstokebison.co.uk as well. But if before that, we have league action on Saturday, the 5th of March. It's the Telford Tigers. It's a 6.30 face-off. It's the Saturday. There's free skate. There's free hire. It's all the fun of the fair for you. Tickets for that game on 01256 355 266. And of course, buy the official Basingstoke Bison website at www.bstokebison.co.uk. Don't forget, of course, to purchase all your match night DVDs as well from bisontv.boltactionmedia.co.uk. Well, this has been a Bison TV production brought to you by Bolt Action Media in association with the Basingstoke Bison. But from all of us here, until next time, goodbye. Who turned that light out?